kid. How you doing? Shit, not too good, dawg. Look, man, we need to talk, but somewhere quiet. All right. Listen, let's take a drive out of town. You and me, we'll meet off Route 68 by that field of satellite dishes. All the way out there? Yeah, all right, man. Sure. Hey, T, man, I'm in trouble, dawg. Think I gotta take out Michael. Got to? Yeah, man, look, the FIB, man, they trying to get me to clap you. And Devin Weston, he trying to get me to ice Michael. And I thought if I, if I do that, man, maybe we got some room, you know? So wh what are you telling me this for? Cuz, dawg, I'm doing this for us. I thought you could. Well, I can't. You're turning on him? I have had enough traitors in my life. Man, your ass could say thank you. Shit. You deserve each other. Yeah, it sure looks that way. Look, get in. Damn, is Fibo taking a nap over there or what? Oh, that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Hey, can you drop me in my clubhouse? It's not far. East Vinewood. But near the racetrack. Appreciate this, bro. Really appreciate it. Damn, dog, you okay? You seem kind of nervous. I'm fine. Just stressed out. Thought I'd never get a ride out of there. Look, man, for future ref. No! They're on to me! Go! Go! You gotta get me out of here, bro!
Are you even looking at the road? I think we lost him. Shit. Thanks, man. Hey, what's that on your jacket, dog? You wanted them to watch it! Angels are deaf guys or what? Angels are deaf guys or what? Are you kidding me? I'm lost. Forever, bro. The angels are finished. They're a myth. The lost? Oh, yeah. I heard something on the radio about your boys getting ridden hard out of Sandy Shores. Hey, things have been rough. Too many people wanting a piece. The Aztecas, the O'Neills, then there's this other crazy meth dealer. Real psycho. Yeah, there's a lot of them around. And it ain't just out there. We got serious beef with that other Mexican gang, the Vagos, all over LS. They've been coming at us fierce. And I moved out here from Liberty City when we got in a gang war five years ago. I don't know if you heard about that, but things ain't been the same since. Life don't come easy no more. Hey, what was you doing around there anyway? Uh, I was out, you know, hiking, and took a wrong turn. Oh, so hiking is... Look out! It's big with the biker gangs these days, huh? Hiking, walking, whatever you want to call it. My bike's in the shop. What do you want me to do? I'd also been to see a pal of mine at Bolingbroke, doing five years for possession, and the bastards are making him do every day of it. Can you believe that? Five years. Shit, think what you would get for smoking a cop. That's a weird thing to say, bro. Thanks, bro. I got people here that can help me out. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy. 
College? Our Tracy. R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. I got my kids back, my wife, and a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You. You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! Shit, I ain't getting past there. Ah, oh, fuck. Just 
got consequences, all right? Oh, shit. Come on, you prick. I taught you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. Uh, every fucking time! Yeah? Fucking A right! I was your bitch! I couldn't even stand down the barrel of your gun any fucking day, you motherfucker! You just keep telling yourself that! It ain't gonna make you feel any better. Past performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did! You! Two-bit gangster going three-bit. And now you're gonna... Cap! The only one who was ever decent to you! Ha! No, I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. Michael, let's just fuck you. Hey, you told me when the time came. I know. I'm sorry. You hypocrite. I should have clipped you when you broke into my house. Man, I'm sorry. It's like you said, I understand. You don't understand nothing! I'm all you got! You made the wrong call! Ah! I'll bring you down with me! I'm taking you down! Ah! <sighs> oh, fuck! Hey, Lamar, it's me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, then all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man, man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? Peace. My moo cow.
So, you've done well for yourself. What? what? What are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? Well, well I... I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor. Are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me, of your own mother. I've been here for hours, and have you gotten me a drink or a cigarette or massaged my feet? I'm an old woman, and you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I'm so sorry. I... <laughs> there, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's enough. <laughs> Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly. For everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What should I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure. Minded wretch. I just want to be proud of you one time before I die. One time. I prayed for a daughter, and you didn't disappoint.
We're not a cult. Epsilonism is a cult. How are you? I'm an actualized probability wave who has formed her own definitive answers as to her formulation and those of all like-minded energy fields. Listen, sweetheart, the only reason to join a goddamn cult is to swing a lot. So get laid and shut the fuck up!
meds, Mom! Mom! I got the meds! Mom! Mom! No, Mother! Franklin, homie, what's happening, man? Hey, you know you sound kind of patronizing and borderline racist when you speak to me like that. I grow up. Is it more patronizing than telling you to ice your favorite uncle? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. How'd it go? Look, it happened, man. So y'all gotta get the FIB off my case, man, since I didn't smoke Trevor for him. It's already done, homie. Haynes' boss has been spoken to. All right, so now what? You got a job for me? Oh, I had a job for you, Slick, and you just did it. Let me take a look down a list of your uses and... Oh, yeah, we're all out of them. I do have some advice for you, though. Go to business school, because clown school ain't worked out so good. Hello? Yo, F, you see my dad? We ain't seen him for a while. Uh, no. Uh, no, I haven't, man. Oh, great. Because my mom is majorly freaking out. Hey, what's up? Everything is up. I am actualized, and I have seen the answers, friend. What? I'm a normative positive, and you can be the same. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but you don't have to be a standard depressive. You can be an outstanding positive. Man, you sound kind of like... Kind of like it's easy to mock, but part of you is thinking, maybe I should give that a try. That girl is pretty, and she also seems happy. Well... Maybe I'm living in ignorance, but it's a beautiful ignorance. And I suggest you try it. Don't believe what others tell you. That's not America. We're Americans. We find out for ourselves, we find out about ourselves, and that what this fellowship is all about. Structured learning to reveal inner truths about the most vital godhead of all. Yourself.
antique furniture store that's also a hair salon on...